Hi, this is James. I did a video a while back on how to preserve snowflakes using super glue. This video is to talk about some suggestions I have based on what I've learned in the meantime. It's really hard to catch a good flake on the slide itself. You're really leaving it up to chance what what snowflake ends up there. So what I've found works pretty well is to catch it on a dark surface first. I use my, uh, my coat sleeve and then transfer it onto the slide. A while before I'm ready to capture some snowflakes, I'll leave the super glue and the slides outside. I put them in a little box to protect them from the weather. And I put a box on the outside of that as sort of a roof and tape it to protect it from snow moisture. Once you have a good snowflake, you want to resist the urge to catch another one on the same slide. You could get another snowflake on the slide, or you could get a bunch of snow and completely mess up the good snowflake that you do have. And once you have a snowflake on your slide and the second slide on top of it, you want to be really careful because the slightest movement can shift and break up the snowflake, as you can see here. I know I said in my original video that you should leave it in the freezer for about a day. Turns out that's usually not enough. You want to leave it in there for several days just to be safe. And the thing is, as soon as you open up the freezer and check the snowflake to see if it's see if it's ready, if it's not dry, it's going to melt and it's all over. So just leave it in there for as long as you can to be safe. If the freezer is full and it's going to be below freezing outside for a few, several days, you could try leaving slides outside. I haven't had much luck with this. They they didn't turn out well. This is interesting. This is I put a snowflake and super glue on this slide but didn't put a slide over it and you can see it sort of the super glue got all opaque and you can't even see the snowflake at all. Here is an experiment where I left it outside because I didn't have room in my freezer but as you can see the slide shifted from turbulence, probably wind and, and on top of that we've got some nonsense on the edges where excess snow also got crystallized from the super glue and so that's no good this one was outside as well. This is a little cleaner. But again, the be, being outside broke up the snowflake. Finally, I wanted to show you some of the better snowflakes that I've done. If you'd like to buy one of the snowflakes that I've done, I have an Etsy store. I'll put a link in the description. If you decide to preserve some snowflakes, let me know in the comments how it goes. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for subscribing.